today's video, I will be reacting going to movie five of the Garden of Sinners. Let's go ahead and get started with part one in three, two, one, go. All right. Let's see what the fuck happens in this one. All I remember is that someone told me I need to watch this twice. So I think what I'm going to do is while this is editing, if I don't have time tonight, I'll rewatch it tomorrow before it comes out. Oh, well, damn. Nice driving. Oh, damn. Oh, mm, Jesus. Is there a reason why you said? Oh, oh, okay. It's like a oh. What the? Hold, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. is this hold up no you you, you can't uh, no. Damn. He straight up killed everybody. What the fuck? Why though? It's clean, ain't it? No. What the fuck is going on? No. No. Mm-mm. What in the fuck is going on? Hold the fuck up now. You telling me that the shit looking dude came in, killed them, Leaves and then dude comes back and they're alive. The, the dad's alive. Uh, uh, what the fuck is this?
Alexa, shut up. What the hell indeed? I mean... Seriously? Hell, I wonder how she and them are going to think about this. Because what? What the fuck is this? And they're all related, aren't they? But okay, hold on. But then why would you kill them? Uh, maybe that's their stepson. Why would you kill you if this is your if that's your stepfather, why would you kill him? Where the fuck we going with this one? I can see where people have said that he kind of looks like Shido because, I mean, the red hair, obviously, but, um, really just looking at him a lot, yeah. Oh, he dead. Shiki? Um. Yeah, what was that key for, anyway? I mean, you know, thank God, yeah, you ain't kill anybody, but Shiki, what the absolute fuck, bitch? He'll be found no matter what.
You're not already in love with her, are you? Like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want to know why. Why did you kill someone? So, okay, you, you killed your stepfather, and then your stepmom was going to try to kill you, but you ended up killing her as well? What the fuck is this? Hold up now. I, this might be the weirdest one out of all of these films, but you know, we ain't done yet. We got like, what, three more weeks with this series before we're done? So you just really want to be a murderer? <laughs> oh. No, not really. I mean, she's seen worse. I've seen worse because of this series, but... <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, you really don't know anything about her right now, but, you know, you will probably by the end of the series. Maybe you secretly wanted to be saved or something. I don't know. Nah, man, because apparently your corpses are alive and well. I don't know. where you got it from, huh? Hmm? Go, you let him live with you for now? Shit. Mm-mm. I don't know. That's a good question, cause you know she you don't always feel like the helping type. But I mean, maybe she's just like fuck it. <laughs> okay, well, where is Miki in this situation? I mean, we saw him at the beginning, but. So? Uh, yeah. And just because a girl invites you to their room or really their house doesn't mean they want sex. Not all the time, damn. what true so uh tell me you want to explain why you killed them people or no Well, oh, 
Hold up. Y'all ain't that much hogging us? Uh-uh. And I thought I was bad with my shirt. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? Well, damn, it's a couple of days to my birthday. Literally two days to my birthday. Oh, my God. But, I, I mean, what the fuck? See, you know, they was really like, yeah, you know, Inception? <laughs> Here it is, except much, much worse. <laughs> Miki and uh, Kyoko. Kyoko Toko. Every single time I say her freaking name wrong. What do you mean by that? Yeah. Mm. Well, yeah, other shiki, but. Yeah, don't worry. Just sit there and eat your Hagen does. <laughs> Gone. 
Oh my fucking god. Y'all... I think it's because he likes you. Or because of the fact is, you know, you gave him a place to stay, even though you barely know him. Of course. So I think you say that to all the girls, like, mm. oh, mm. oh, seriously. Kill people in your dream. Oh, damn, my God. She gonna kill herself. Oh. You killed them. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah, because, like, what else are you going to get? Well, I mean, honestly, we could go check to see if your parents are still alive, even though technically the police and that one guy did it themselves, but... So what is it, October 20th now? November! No oh, uh, wait. <laughs> it was first my birthday, October 18th. Oh, shit, that's your mom. Now November 9th. You, you, you say it has been a fucking week. <laughs> okay. Bro, what the fuck? Possibly, you know, basically.
Well, you know, no, I'm going to keep my dirty mind to myself. <laughs> it's 745, no. I, I mean, it's an interesting apartment, but it also looks like that, but... <laughs> I should call him. I'm just kidding. I ain't even got no fucking boyfriend. Mm -mm. Oh. Eight days. Yeah, just open the door. Same program still playing even now. What if the reason why he killed? Oh. Yeah. What the fuck? And this is when he's going to come out and stab him. Because he doesn't see that. It's like this apartment replays this moment over and over again. Oh shit. Now she about to go kill him.
yeah. And he'll just relive this experience over and over again. Yeah. So what the fuck is going on? Apparently so. This whole apartment reminds me of the Tower of Doors from Kakaguri. Like, th this shit. So if they go in there, we're, we're gonna see the dead bodies, correct? Maybe it was that one guy who looks like Hide or the red the red coat dude. Yeah, cause look how they're fucking rotting. went from like a case to fucking Resident Evil except what, what the fuck is going on oh my god bruh <laughs> Is that a fucking... You threw a fucking... <laughs> I threw a fridge! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, God. Oh, that's nice, sir.
And see, we ain't going to see that until the murder part two. Of course, because she's wearing the damn red outfit. Yeah, exactly. So the lamp, of course. What the fuck is this shit? Uh uh. Hmm. Everyone is. You gotta really feel bad about everybody who lives in this fucking apartment. So basically, all of this was just tests for her. I don't think you'll be able to defeat him, but yeah, go ahead and try, boo. You got this. Kind of. You know, go ahead and come closer. She can still cut that bitch. Oh, damn. So basically, that was Shiki that stabbed him like that and not him. Okay. Because he's still just standing there the whole entire time. Oh, crap. No, oh, well, Shiki dead. Great. The one other time, you know, you want Miki and Watch Your Face to be here with Shiki and help Shiki, they're not here.
All right. Um, how many more minutes do I have until until in part one? We got eight more minutes. <laughs> when we get to the end of this, we, we gonna talk. Cause um. I'm confused, but I think I kind of figured it out. But I want to wait until we get to the end of this, because... Mm. <laughs> oh well I'm, I'm surprised that you knew those two I mean because now they're like your enemies oh you're so pretty you look like what's her face And speaking of, there he is. Seriously? So, wait, 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 wait. Now I'm I'm really confused. Excuse me. Honestly, I feel like Shiki is just both. You know, I, she's the type of person who just is both in a way. She's very similar to freaking Haruka where she doesn't have either one that defines her. She's just both. I 
mean, honestly, I don't think Mickey even cares. I mean, he, oh, damn. But seriously, like, I just think Mickey just loves Shiki no matter what gender she is. I mean, you know, for a girl, like, the way she talks, you wouldn't think. Because she talks more like a guy in a way at times. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't know that it would be a man and a woman as well. Learned something new today. I can kind of agree on that. Got two minutes left. The cop from from the beginning of the movie. That's that sword. Okay. All right. So let me read this last sentence. Okay. But it seems that the elevator wasn't functional until night. Okay. This is what I feel like what the fuck is going on. What we're seeing is we're seeing two different, like both of these stories are still connecting no matter what. But there's one half where we see both Shiki and Tomoe going to the apartment during the nighttime and we're seeing Toko and Miki going during and doing their investigation during the daytime. So there's going to be a point where they're both going to meet up. I'm a little confused on why during the daytime we're seeing everything in Shiki's like first POV. That cuz like okay, cuz like what they're doing is there's a moment like okay, um Miki came in, Shiki was leaving, she was about to slam the door, but we're looking directly at um Miki, Miki's sister and uh togo so i'm a little confused on that why are we showing her her fir first person pov that's a little confusing so i'm guessing probably between the second half and part three of this movie we're going to probably learn about that so it, it is a little weird that um <laughs> this apartment <laughs> you have one half where they're replaying their final moments over and over and over again and then, so, like, a, for example, 405, you see 
Tomoe, his mom and his dad, and then his mom, you know, getting beat up and everything until eventually to the point where she gets fed up and she's like, okay, fuck it. I'm killing this man. I'm going to kill my son and I'm going to kill myself. Like, I, I don't know why, but I kind of got the Grudge 2 vibes with that. Especially, you know, how if you've seen the Grudge 2, I mean, that movie has been out for such a damn long time. Um, where it goes to the point where, like, the stepmom kind of gets, like, possessed and she pours, like, bacon grease on top of her um, husband's head and, like, slams the goddamn pan. I think it was an iron skillet or some shit, but it was, it was a pan, like a cast iron skillet pan, and instantly kills him, and then eventually she dies, but she dies in the bathtub and such. But th this is possibly the most craziest one out of all five of these movies. What the fuck is going on? But, like, it, it makes you wonder if it is going with, you know, the yin and yang and, you know, light and darkness man and woman is like that how how is shiki going to be able to come back to the other side or like it's not even only shiki how is tomoe because tomoe in, in the light is nowhere to be found and such so yeah there's a lot of unanswered fucking questions with this and of course i'm not going to see it until i watch part two and part three to see how in the world this is going to conclude um toko's like fr uh friends we're going to call them that the the one who has Kide's VA and then the red coat dude, what what's they deal on this besides them with uh, with the connection of the apartment? It because it seems more like these two are eventually going to be the bad guys. Like at first, yeah, with the Kide, with Kide say you like yeah, yeah yeah you already know because it's fucking obvious. But this person with a red coat and a top hat. I literally have no clue. Like, yes, there's a moment in time where, like, um, Tumway sees Shiki. He turns into, uh, Shiki turns into the guy with the blonde hair and the red top hat and, and jacket or coat or whatever. He does this and, and then he disappears. So what the fuck is going on? I, I mean, I, like, oh, God, like, this is really the Twilight Zone, like, in a nutshell. This ain't no Inception or anything. This is the Twilight Zone now, because we're, it, it's like, in a way, we're in two different, para like, yeah, paradoxes! <laughs> I mean, honestly, we're in two different, like, entities, and they're stuck. We're in one where Tomoe and his family and everyone else who lives in this apartment goes through the same thing over and over again uh, until, like, they possibly all realize, yeah, they're dead. And I'm guessing because, you know, <laughs> you go to the other side of the damn apartment building and everybody is dead. But, um, I, I, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, we ain't even done with this. But, uh, yeah, you know what? That's all I got to say for now. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for part two. Okay, part two and three, two, one, go. Okay, so now they're gonna go up. Seriously? Yeah, so you need to go, no, because the elevator also spins when you're going up, so you need to go right to get to 410. Because something also about that elevator isn't right either.
See, like, why are they doing that? What the fuck is going on? Why are they basically, like, we're looking at a POV through Shiki and we're just having her talk? Well, too late because she uses the motorcycle on the other side with freaking Tomoe. So, what the? Let's hope so. Yeah, got a lock. Bruh, <laughs> we're literally repeating the exact same things over and over again now. <laughs> Hell yeah, I would feel relieved too. I mean, this bitch is coming around here and then she sleeps at night with no damn lock. Yeah, she met Tomoe. What do you see? That's a good question. Four. So y'all didn't move? See, yeah, mm hmm yeah. The, it, Kakayuri in a nutshell. We're right here with the damn tower of doors. Oh my god. That shit was already fucking confusing when I read that in the manga, and then seeing animated was confusing as fuck. Yeah. About? So then is the, the whole complex itself, is it moving when the elevator's going up? the mom
Now we're back to November 9th. Okay, so when they were first investigating, she has the stuff still on her car. That had to be sometime between my birthday and November 9th. Because as of November 9th, Tomoe's with them. Again. You know, you weren't supposed to interfere, so, uh, but. Oh God, more spirals. Y'all gonna make me not look at spirals the same way again, right? First that one, <laughs> Uzumaki.
Don't be stupid. And that's gotta be someone who's looking down that door. Mm-hmm. Friend is cheeky! The boyfriend! Mm-hmm. because she's still currently at the apartment building. Um, in my opinion, 410 is probably the real one. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure on that. Guys, this is really a good idea, though. I mean, you know, what if y'all die? Now, see, why would you go there by yourself? So, no, no, no. You never go somewhere by yourself. Oh, shit. It honestly makes you also wonder why they haven't done a series on these three, but I'm guessing maybe because they don't have the time to necessarily do it.
Okay. But why only within yourself, though? Mm. And plus, is this really truly gonna stop him? I don't think so. I mean, honestly, you're getting your ass handed to you. So now you're dead. Well, damn. So you just basically dreamed of Toko, you killing Toko. But see, no, her head. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, so you killed her in your dream. But she's still alive. Okay. <laughs> Once again, this would be as weird as fuck, but I, I really like it. That's basically Salty's head right now. Okay.
and king. So that also has to be the reason why he quit school as well. I mean, because what else can you say to him? I mean, yeah, they weird, but not as much as you. Like, you a whole different story. This whole case is a whole different story. Don't go in there by yourself. You're going to die. Too late. You're going in there by yourself.
I, I mean, yeah, because, ouch, shit, god damn it. <sighs> As I was trying to say, they're endgame, and they end up with each other, probably by the end of this series. <laughs> but see, I don't think that's actually her. That's just the head that was in the thing and not actually Toko. Oh, damn. The president's heads are in there? We got 12 minutes left. That ain't killing. That's yours, isn't it? Now she has to be coming in exactly as this is all happening. Yeah. That's your brain, ain't it? Yeah. This shit is weird as fuck. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
Oh shit, there he is. Oh damn. Of course. Oh, puff it. Well, now he's dead. That's a fucked up way to die.
No, not really, because if she does this time, she'll actually die. That too. We don't need her to get killed again, so no. Yeah, because she's going to come out of it, and she's going to kill you. Yeah, because I think she's going to come out of that elevator. Okay, so it seems like everything that we're seeing right now, it's all connecting back and forth, even with, you know, the, I'm about to say the very first one, the first person point of view for Shiki. It, it is still a little confusing though, but you know, between everybody who's going to comment on this video and plus me re-watching this, I think once I watch this the second time, I might end up understanding it a little bit more. So still in a way, Shiki was stuck in inside the apartment in her own paradox reliving everything that we saw at the beginning of part one then in part two we're seeing the point where Miki comes home and we don't see Shiki anywhere but we hear her and eventually leading up to November 9th because I'm guessing still all of this had to be taken place within two months October and November because the next time that we see Miki Toko and Tomoe together is on the 9th of November, literally like almost a month after my damn birthday. But between the few weeks in October, bro, this is too much. <laughs> we aren't even done. I got 18 more minutes before I'm done with this movie and, and talking about my final thoughts. There, there's something else that I feel like is missing. And maybe in the final 18 minutes, it might connect. It, it's fucked up that, you know, Tomoe dies not once, but twice once he realized that he's a fake and that also he, he sees his brain. 
in it too because it seems now like everybody who lived in this apartment their heads or their brains are stuck in these tubes and such i mean even having like um toko's puppet having um a tube as well that that shit was crazy this shit is crazy yeah that this crazy mm-hmm mm-hmm this the craziest fucking movie i, I yeah that's all I gotta say about that, but yeah, that shit is crazy. I, I just, you feel bad because I was thinking, like, in some weird shape of way, like, Tomoe would have been okay, and that he would have been able to, you know, live on and everything, but he, he's a puppet, just as much as everybody else, um, who lived in the apartment complex was, and they're all dead, and they're never going to come back, so, I mean, you, the, you know what's the fucked up thing about this series? For these people, not cheeky um, Toko or Miki, but everyone else who gets involved with them, they all have sad stories and with them they all and also they also end sad or really horrible where like someone is dying. The only one that has really kind of ended in a good way is with the other girl who had mystic eyes as well. She's still alive, but then they also talked about her in this. So now it's like making me kind of think, okay, is she now dead? And such but yeah i mean that's the only film that has ended like you know in like a somewhat quote-unquote um kind of happy ending if we're looking at like all the other movies from one through five like the, all the other movies have like ended really like hella depressing like oh my god like I mean, yes, because each movie is fucking dark. And, 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 yeah, because even in that same movie with the mystic eyes and that of the girl, like, yeah, having a R-A-P-E scene, that shit is dark. And I'm thinking, yeah, there's no way in hell we're going darker. And then you get to a moment where, yes, yeah, someone has killed their family. I, I, I mean, we got three movies left. Once again, how the fuck? How, how darker is this, is this series willing to go? I mean, goddamn. <laughs> That's all, but yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final part. Okay, final part in three, two, one, go. Oh. And there she is. Cause she OP! Like, I'm sorry!
And of course, she's going to have to kill him in this one because, I mean, yes, they fought before and I'm guessing she lost because, I mean, yeah, like so, um, probably so many years later, they're, oh shit, um, facing each other once more and so she has to be victorious this time. Yeah, but you know that's not going to work, right? She's going to get out. All three of them are going to get out. <laughs> mm -hmm. God damn. That better fucking kill him, because I, I swear to God.
And of course, I mean, because you're drifting away now. So now we won't see him again until the um part two of the murders the the murder movie. Mm -hmm. Huh. You would have also thought that, you know, the apartment a building would have disappeared as well. Since him and the building were technically one. Okay, so also in the end with, with that last little bit, it seems like in the end they were both in purgatory, but okay, of course, like Tomoe, he's moving on because of course he's dead, and Shiki, she goes back to the living, waking up from her dream possibly. I, maybe, I don't know, like I said, once this comes out on Friday, we're, there, there's a lot of questions that I got on this. But honestly, even though this one was the weirdest one, in my opinion, it was the most interesting. I mean, each story that I've seen from the, this is week five, even though I took a break last week from it, um, I think this might have to be officially number one for me. Really, because this one was very, very different from one through four. Um, just, <laughs> I think this, in a way, it still kind of ended happily in a way, even though I would have liked it if Tomoe was still alive, but because him and everyone else who lived in those apartment buildings are officially dead, of course, there was no way that they were going to be able to come back unless, um... Toko was going to be willing to make them all like dolls, but they all needed their souls as well. So I think the only one who really truly would have been able to do that is Tomoe himself. So I, I don't know. I mean, but yeah, it, it was confusing, very confusing. So I think with this one, yeah, I, I'm definitely going to have to watch it one more time before I watch movie six, probably on next Wednesday or maybe Sunday. I'm not 100% sure yet. But, I mean, yeah, it, it was very enjoyable. I did like, you know, going back and forth between the first person of Shiki and the third person. I thought that was a little different because a lot of, I haven't seen, the last time I've seen a show really do that, 
was like a while ago. I can't remember the name. Other than like Persona 5 with the animation of the Valentine's Day, which was all nothing but first person, which in my opinion, sometimes when you do a first person, it's not always the best. And so when you look at the Valentine's Day episode of it, it yeah, it's not the best because of the fact is you want to have that interaction and you're only having one person speak and mainly it is the love interest of whoever the fuck you pick and us as Ren he's just there looking <laughs> so it this it was really interesting to still still uh mm, to still have it be Shiki's POV at times but to also hear Shiki speak in the background but yeah I, I really enjoyed this one just like I said definitely gonna have to watch it again so Probably maybe tomorrow or Friday, depending on, like, my schedule and everything. Because I think I, I got a little time tomorrow. Because I only have one show. Plus, I still got to do Shaman King. So, but yeah. Really sad. I just, oh, God. Especially with what the fuck happened with uh Tomo's dad and him killing someone. Him being a murderer. And no matter where his family went people found out about it and so eventually they had to pack up and move again and again and again and so they ended up at their final destination for all three of them because once everybody came here they all died but it, it almost kind of mm, I don't think it gave me like time travel feels it gave me a lot of like here's one like here's two different universes or, like, the butterfly effect in a way. Because it's like, okay, if you do this, this is what's going to happen. Or if you do this, this is going to happen. Almost like, um... Oh my god, what's the name of that fucking game that I've never played? But I've watched people do, like, walkthroughs of it. Uh, Until Dine. Until Dine. Specifically, yes. Because there were so many kind of butterfly effect moments in this. And then finally, when you get to the part where Toko is talking to um, the guy who plays Kide, or Arima, um, it all made sense. It all was starting to add up and ish. But yeah, like I said, it's a little teeny tiny bit confused on this film. But I, I really liked it for what it was. It was very interesting to see um, Shiki interact with another guy and... Of course, having him immediately fall in love with her because, I mean, come on now, you're going to do it. It was going to fucking happen. I think we all relatively knew that shit was going to happen. But, yeah. Did you give her a whole bunch of haagen I mean, honestly, did, did you have to give her a whole bunch of haagen Like, uh Oh, thank God. <laughs> well, now they all get to rest in peace. For now. You still have the key? Oh, <laughs> yeah, because he always comes to your place and you never really go to his. No. <laughs> November, uh, yeah, November 1998. Huh. So I would have been, I would have been six.
Okay. 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 Interesting. All right. So it's just going to be a movie really focusing. Interesting. Because you know what? I kind of wanted that with her. Because ever since she's popped up since the first movie... I wanted something like specifically all about her and her backstory and we're kind of getting it, but not really. I am mean, cause there has to be something more to this story, but of course I ain't going to watch it. I, I ain't going to know until I watch the next fucking movie. But I, I, for what this was, it was very enjoyable. Confusing. Yes. <laughs> like I think out of all of them, the most confusing until we get to six, seven and eight, because we are, we are three weeks away before I'm done with this series. Um, before I possibly start either, well, yeah, because I want to do the Alia OVA before I do that other show. Um, and also before I go on vacation. Um, but <laughs> any, I feel like this next movie is going to be the lighthearted one, maybe, but still have like a little more dark in, in it because I, and I'm okay with that. Like, I mean, we, we've gone four weeks. <laughs> Four weeks, five weeks officially now, where it's been nothing but dark, 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 dark. We need kind of a lighthearted, like, moments and cute, adorable moments and ish like that to just kind of bring us back. But something tells me that, yeah, something is going to go ha- go wrong. So, of course, people are going to die because let's talk about this series in a nutshell. People are always dying over that. But I am also glad that, yes, all the corpses of everyone who lived in this building are out they're demolishing the building because I, I can't imagine if that building was still up even a year later after all of this and people were living in there and, and you know because it's almost like okay <laughs> let, let's do a little horror movie trip you know how in like every horror movie where like it, it's someone who's lived in a house an apartment a penthouse whatever someone usually dies and then next thing you know, a family moves in, like, either 5, 10, 15, 20 years later. And they're like, okay, like, you know, but there's always, like, because <laughs> American Horror Story season one did this ish. And I loved it so much where <laughs> the person was saying to them who wanted to run of the house, well, yeah, someone died here. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and rent it. And I was like, hold up, wait, 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 time out. I was like, hold up. If I am renting or buying a home or an apartment or a penthouse, and you tell me that someone has died, that's it. I was like, no, I don't need it. Mm-mm. I'm going to take my money somewhere else, and I'm going to find a better place than this because, oh, God, no. Because sometimes it's it's good to learn about a history about a place, but then at the same time it's bad because, you know, there's always going to be that one person who's going to be a little too freaking curious, and then something bad is going to happen. Look at every freaking type of, like, supernatural um horror type either um documentary horror movie tv show whatever and something has usually happened because of something else and it's just freaking crazy but yeah i really enjoyed this one but like i said once again definitely gonna have to watch it one more time but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards movie five of the garden of sinners if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for movie six bye guys